symmetrical lupoid, lupoid on a conduscopy. Um, it's commonly referred to as SLO, and it's a um, rare immune-mediated and possibly genetic disease. They're not entirely sure what causes it, um, but the most prevalent system is onychomedesis, which is the sloughing of the nails from the nail beds. Um, who is typically affected by SLO and what causes it? Um, it's often experienced by young to middle-aged animal, or excuse me, dogs from three to eight years old. Um, some common breeds that experience it are the German Shepherd, Rottweilers, and Gordon Setters. Um, large, large dogs are more likely to experience this as well. Um, and if you look in the right-hand side over here, this is our dog, Trudy, and she's the one who actually piqued my interest in this because we noticed a few months ago that she started losing a couple of her nails as she was wandering around the house. Um, she didn't seem to have any other symptoms. It was she would just lick at the nails like they were bothering her sometimes, but she was fine walking and other things like that. Um, like I said, causes are unknown, but they believe that it's possibly genetic and hereditary, and it's caused by an inflammatory, inflammatory or immune-mediated response. Um, common symptoms experienced by the dogs who have SLO is pain, uh, limping or lameness, onychomedesis, uh, misshapen, brittle, or discolored nails, excessive licking of their feet or paws, secondary infection, and um, the dog's general well-being may be standard or decent, but they may experience things like depression because of the pain. Um, for the diagnosis, um, if you think your dog might be experiencing SLO, if you see them doing things like licking excessively at their paws, or you see the nail beds lifting, uh, or the nails lifting from the nail bed, like in these two pictures here, call your vet, um, because that's really the only way to for sure know if your dog has SLO. Um, you're gonna discuss possible treatments, and the vet has to rule out what veterinarypractice.com calls differentials. Um, so that means that your vet will look at your dog's health history as well as take histological samples um, to look at the basal cells. And they're looking along like here for um, the basal cell, uh, apoptosis of the basal cell keratino keratinocytes, excuse me, um, or like cell hydro uh, hydropic degeneration or um, pigmentary incontinuities and things like that. Um, treatment is pretty systematic. If it's if the nail is infected enough, they'll will remove the nail, um, and then after that, they suggest that you trim the nails every two weeks. And for the first 48 hours, they recommend that you keep the nail beds wrapped in um, bandages and dry. Uh, if the ex or if the SLO is ex um, severe enough, they will do P3 amputation, which is just decline the animal to prevent it the symptoms from recurring um, and then there are other treatments such as fatty acid supplementation at recommended 400 milligrams a day to 200 to 400 I use of vitamin E every 12 hours um, tetracycline or niacinamide uh, system uh, systemic glucocorticoids pregnant pregnant is alone I can't talk today prednisone yeah yeah Thank you, and other vitamins such as that have been proven to work, um, but they have to... A long time, three yeah, months. Yeah, three months. Um, but after that, the prognosis for the animals is generally well. Most animals go on to live a normal, healthy life otherwise. Mm. And there's your sources. And there's your sources.